This is an ultrasound examination of a patient who underwent endovascular repair of an aortic aneurysm. The transverse image of the proximal aorta is normal. These are normal dimensions. The pulse Doppler signal of the proximal aorta is normal. It's a low resistance waveform. This is what should occur. The mid aorta is normal in its caliper as measured on this transverse image. The Doppler signal is uh, uh, normal for the middle uh, portion of the aorta. This is now an image of the uh, proximal portion of the graft and we can see the arrow points to the area of the old aneurysm. The graft runs inside this area. Another image, this is grayscale of the aortic graft. We have a Doppler signal in the proximal portion of the graft. This should be a high resistance signal and it is. We can see uh, forward backward and forward on the Doppler. So a normal signal. The old aneurysm has been measured on this uh, uh, transverse image and uh, the residual sac is under five centimeters uh, and just slightly over four centimeters in the AP and width measurements. At this portion of the uh, transverse scan we can see the uh, right and left limbs of the endograph and uh, they are filled with color indicating they are not obstructed and there is no color Doppler uh, flow in the area around the limbs. Another image of the right and left limbs. The left limb looks much larger than the right limb. This is probably related to the course of this uh, limb. Here's an image of the residual aortic sac with the graft passing through it. Uh, rather disorganized color Doppler image because of the uh, uh, near 90 degree angle. However, there is no color flow seen outside of the graft. Here's the proximal graft and no evidence of an endoleak is visible in this portion of the graft. This is the uh, uh, mid portion of the graft. Uh, we see some fluid around it, uh, the old aneurysm, and uh, it appears normal in its caliper. The Doppler signal is again high resistance, which is uh, what we expect. This is the right proximal limb of the graph. This is the right uh, middle portion of the limb and we have a nice triphasic signal. This is a normal signal for uh, this portion of the graph. This is uh, an image of the right distal common iliac artery and uh, there's some color flash. This is a difficult to interpret image. This is a better image. There's less color flash and we get a normal Doppler waveform for this artery. This is the right uh, external iliac artery. It is filling uh, normally with color flow and the Doppler signal is triphasic. This is a normal signal for this artery. Now looking at the left limb in grayscale and in color we are uh, near 90 degrees on the angle although we see blue color in the distal limb which corresponds to a normal flow which should be down uh, toward the, the leg.
this pulse Doppler signal is rather irregular. This may be related to the rather shallow angle that is being used. Uh, it may be more likely to be 70 or even 80 degrees than the 60 that has been measured. Here we have a steeper angle and we can see that this is a high resistance waveform. This is a normal signal for this portion of the graft. Again, this is the left limb in the mid portion of the graft. Here's a color Doppler of the uh, limb and uh, the uh, distal common iliac artery and uh, there is no evidence of an uh, endoleak at this portion of the graft. All the color is contained within the confines of the graft and the artery. Grayscale does not add much add much information to the exam at this region. Here we have color Doppler of the left limb again or, and a pulse Doppler signal which is high resistance. There's some interference from a uh, neighboring vein uh, and uh, this indicates uh, a normal signal. We're now looking at uh, the distal portion of the left limb in a very clear demonstration of uh, a triphasic signal forward, reverse, and a small amount of forward flow. The distal CIA on the uh, left side has a triphasic normal signal and the left external iliac artery demonstrates complete filling with color flow and a triphasic signal as well. This examination of an endograph uh, which was inserted during repair of an aortic aneurysm demonstrates no evidence of endo leak uh, and uh, the residual aneurysmal sac around the graft had a maximum diameter of 4.2 centimeters.